This is the secret to how you grow your photography business quickly. It's all about investing in a photography shortcut. Let me tell you why. Hey, I'm Sarah Petty, founder and photographer at one of the most profitable photography businesses in the United States. And it's my passion to help photographers create a business that thrives and still be able to put your family first. You shouldn't have to pick. As a coach of photographers, I have so many people who come to me and say, Sarah, what's it take to get to six figures? How can I get there in a year or two years or three years? Look, I got there really quickly, really quickly. I had three babies under three. Originally I had newborn twins and then two years later I had another, but I was building my business and I didn't want it to take 15 years or 18 years, wait till my kids are in college, which they are now, it's so sad. So if you have kids, look out, it goes by so fast. I want today to be about what does that look like? What did I do? And maybe give you some perspective on what that can look like for you. Like, is it even realistic? First, let me tell you, it is realistic if you do certain things, okay? But let me give you some perspective. There are two types of photography that you can get paid to do. There's commercial, and there's portrait. So commercial photography is business portraits, headshots, branding, which is like if you're photographing influencers for their social media, all the things like that, right? Where people hire you usually on an hourly rate, sometimes on a project rate, but you're photographing people or products for business use. Then there's portrait work where you're creating artwork for people's homes, potentially. And there are two sort of models within that. And of course there are some hybrids that I think being stuck in the middle is the worst place to be. But you can have one where you're selling digital files for a fee. So I might charge $200 to photograph your children and give you a CD for $200. Or what I teach and what I do at my photography business is a model called boutique, where I hold the client's hand through the whole process to help them decorate their home with beautiful artwork of the people and the pets that they love. Emotional, yummy images, playful images, kids room art, house art, foyer art, mantle art, all the different places that decorates their home. Here's why that is my favorite model, because you can leverage your time. I can do a 30 minute session and have a multiple thousand dollar order from that 30 minutes. Versus if I'm doing commercial, I've quoted it, I've bid it, once all of my time is gone, I'm capped at what I can make. Same thing on the portrait side. If I'm selling CDs for 200 bucks a pop, to get to six figures, that's 500 sessions. That's crazy. Do you wanna do 500 sessions this year and stay up all night and edit and retouch and do the workflow? I don't. That's why I said at the beginning, I want you to have a life with your family and make money. You shouldn't have to choose. You shouldn't have to pick which one. So if you're using the digital file model where you're selling your images for a fee, you're maxing out your time. You're basically selling your time away. My preferred way to create a profitable business, and we're the only ones who do it the way we do it. I was an ad agency marketing director. I worked at Coca-Cola. I run a profitable photography business and I have for 25 years. That's why I share all of that because what we teach is so different, all right? So it's boutique portrait photography. Now, let me tell you a few things that I did to get to that $100,000 figure quickly, part-time with a sitter two days a week. I was working very part-time and you can do this too. First off, paying for a shortcut can alleviate a lot of the stress. Many, if not most small businesses fail, it's because people don't know what they're doing. When I was a marketing director at the ad agency, we could tell immediately who was going to succeed and who is going to fail when we did new client meetings because the ones that were going to succeed did this one thing. They had a mentor and they were following a system. That's how they got big enough to hire an ad agency because you can't hire an ad agency when you're little bitty bitty. So you have to get to a certain point, usually multiple six figures in their business before they could afford us. We wanted their ad budget to be six figures. <laughs> if you don't at least have that, you're not at a point where you can justify hiring an ad agency. The bad news is you're gonna have to be your own marketer, which is kind of good news because if you have a system to follow, it's going to get you there faster. The way I look at it is we can always make more money 
we can't make more time. Just like when I travel with my family, I don't wanna wait in the lung security line if I can get TSA pre-check and know that I can get there faster. What is it in our internal makeup that makes us want to do it the harder way? For it to be more painful, maybe you've told yourself, I need to suffer. If it's easy, it can't be working or I'm a cheater. It should be painful and long and hard. And until you feel like you've suffered enough, you've sort of paid your dues, then you can succeed. And what has worked for me for all these years, got me named one of the most profitable with PPA, most profitable photography business in the United States. I've been on the Inc. 5000 list. All of those awards I got because I got mentors to figure out how to get there faster. I'm only here for a certain amount of time. Same with you. Let's just get there faster. We pay money for all kinds of dumb things in life, like a new sofa and a car and a house that we can't afford. Why not invest in ourselves to get the education we need? That's what I did. That's what I recommend you do. Full disclosure, this is what we do. Not for commercial, not for digital files. We do this. We teach photographers who want to learn the boutique business model and we do it with them. We don't just give them a study at home course. That's all we offer is where we do it with our students. We offer that. If you want more info, go down to the description and check us out, okay? But if it's not us, Find that person, find that person who does the commercial photography that you wanna do and go invest in them. Or if you wanna work all the time, in my opinion, sell digital files, it's a hard model because you're competing with free. Most people compete with cheap, but as photographers, we compete with free because everyone has a digital camera. So you're never gonna be cheap enough. It's a grind, you get the wrong clients and everybody whines about price. It's not my favorite, but if that's what you want, find somebody to help you so you can go out there and you can make some extra money, all right? It's the fastest way. Find Find someone who's doing it and do it. That's why we put our kids on a team. When they're in fifth grade and they wanna play volleyball or basketball, we get them a coach and we get them on a team. Do that for your business. I know it's a confidence boost when you can earn more money more quickly. Think about it. How do you get confidence in anything in life? You don't get confidence by reading a book or watching a video. You get confidence when you do it. If you've ever learned to ride a bike, do you remember that feeling where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Look, mom, look, dad, I'm riding the bike. Or you learn to play a sport. You play tennis and you start realizing, oh my gosh, I'm hitting it over the net. I'm hitting it over the net. Or you learn to sew and you make something pretty or you learn to paint. You can only watch Bob Ross so long. <laughs> Happy fluffy clouds. Tell me you watched Bob Ross. I used to love that when I was a kid. Happy fluffy mountains. Happy fluffy. Happy fluffy clouds. My clouds were never much better than his clouds, but we learn by doing. So if you're doing it wrong and you're not getting results, what happens to your confidence? <clears throat> what happens when you do something and it works and you're like, woohoo, you feel unstoppable. So I really think when we invest in ourselves, we're investing in confidence. You can't buy confidence in a bottle. You can't buy it in a perfume or really anything, but isn't that what makes us feel the best about ourselves? I may be getting deep here, but for me, it's not just about having a photography business. It's about feeling good about myself. I love being a small business owner. I love managing my schedule. I love serving and helping other people and creating artwork for people that's gonna be a legacy piece that they're gonna have for generations and generations. I love that. Also, if you're going to get to six figures, there are some skills you have to learn. You have to learn how to price. Right? Is it packaged? Is it, is it a la carte? Like all these different models teach different ways. So that's why you have to be careful when you're Googling and some person says, oh, do this, or another person says, do this. There's more than one way to do things, but it depends on which model you have. But you've got to understand pricing and you've got to be confident when you're talking about it. You won't get to six figures. And you definitely don't wanna attract people on price. You can't compete that way. It is never a sustainable competitive advantage. And in my world, it's not a competitive advantage if it's price. Why? Because someone else can do it cheaper or free. We know that already, right? So you've gotta understand price. You've also got to understand how to serve your client throughout the process. And throughout that, you've got to be able to answer all of their questions and overcome any of their concerns. Hate the word like, oh, handle objections. No, like they have concerns because there's a risk, right? What if they don't like it? What if they order the wrong size? What if the frame doesn't look good in their house? Like there are so many things 
that they need your help with. If you have a system, which is what I live by, where I can serve my clients and I know the answer to every single question before it comes at me, that's where they get confidence in me and the system. So know all those answers before you get going, all right? Again, this is why you hire a mentor who's made all the mistakes, who's trial and errored everything. Is that a word? It's a word now, because I made it a word. (laughs) I made it a saying, trial and errored. We've all trial and errored. Believe me, I tell my students, every mistake you're gonna make, I've already made, and I've created a system so that it doesn't happen again, so that I can serve my clients and they can invest in artwork that they love, all right? That's the purpose of a mentor, is that they've done the hard work work. I know my mentor always said, follow the person who has arrows in their back, right? Because they've gone before you. Somebody's already thrown the arrows at them and they're still going. So you don't need to take all those arrows in your back if someone else has already done it. Shorten the learning curve. Seriously, shorten the learning curve. You don't have to take the arrows that someone else can take for you. I'm telling you all of this because I don't want you to struggle on your own, trial and erroring all the way through it and end up quitting, telling yourself you're not good enough. Find yourself a trusted mentor, no matter who it is. If you're interested in boutique, please check out our information in the description below and keep going. And I'll see you soon.